Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's DJ Trev from Exxon Soundcrew, and today we're looking at Serato DJ Pro and an app called MP3 Scan and Repair. And what we're going to do today is address these corrupt files that may or may not be, but very likely, may be in your Serato uh, library. Now, these corrupt files are a very common reason why your Serato might be crashing. And th this is actually, relatively, this is, this is not a lot of corrupt files in a library. I've seen many Serato libraries have uh, like corrupt files in the hundreds, of sometimes even thousands. So what, what you want to do to locate these files is click on all and then you can start, you know, sorting by the column. So you can start by BPM or key. You're going to click over here and then you'll get your corrupted files at the top. Now, the quickest thing to do if you're experiencing Serato crashes and you just need your Serato to work right away, just go ahead and select all the corrupted files and delete them out of your library. These corrupted files ruin your database file in uh, for Serato, and that's what causes the crashes. However, if you have a little bit of time and you want to repair these files and make them so that they're not corrupt anymore and that they're normal, what you wanna do uh, is get this app called mp3 scan and repair and i'm going to put a link for it in the description of this video it's a free app it's available for windows and mac and all you have to do is drag and drop these files into the app right and you're going to get uh, a variation of warnings some tracks might have more warnings than others and then you can just select all click this hammer which really stands for repair the damaged items and go ahead and select move to trash because you don't really need these files anymore. What this is going to do is it's going to go through each mp3 file, make the necessary repairs to hopefully fix them and make them not corrupt anymore. And then it's going to replace the original file with the fixed file. When you have move to trash selected, it's going to take that original file and get rid of it. So we're just going to click proceed. It should be a very quick process. And, and there we go. Now, if I go back to Serato now, and I have these files here, I'm gonna select them, drop them, and analyze files. Now, this is actually kind of important because if I just click this file, for example, and load it, it's still gonna be labeled as corrupt. You have to reanalyze them. So we're gonna go here, select them, analyze files. And as you can see, the corrupt uh, symbols are leaving the files as they're being analyzed. Now let's see, there may be a few that are still corrupt. Yep, there's still a few that are still corrupt. In this situation, unfortunately, it looks like these files cannot be repaired. And you can see that here. And in this situation, you'll just have to go redownload the songs, get it from a different source, or you could put it into an MP3 or audio editor and then export them back out as a new mp3 file like using um, audition or audacity or any other audio editor even logic right you can do this stuff but this mp3 scan and repair as you can as you can see we, we got rid of most of our corrupted files very very quickly so this is a very quick solution to fixing your library if you have a lot of corrupted files